What's cracking, y'all? It's Billboard, and y'all should know me, Nipsey Hussle. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, the Crenshaw District, um, between Slauson and Florence and Western and La Brea. My first day job was shining shoes for commission. I made $2.50 a shoe, and I used to pride myself on making $100 a day, so it's a lot of shoes. First CD I bought was, might have been Machiavelli by Tupac right after he passed away. Somebody was to play Nip Hustle in the movie. Uh, dang, I don't know. I don't think we look nothing alike, but I think Mac Wiles is a good actor. I think he, he got enough acting chops and authenticity to be able to portray a story like mine, you know what I'm saying? I would like to say Denzel, but that boat is, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that boat has sailed. I don't think Denzel could play Hustle. My stage name was given to me, more so for the Hustle part than for the Nipsey part. It was just a joke somebody said in the studio one day, because I came in, I had the weed, I had, you know, uh, some chicken for everybody, you know what I mean? I fed the whole studio, smoked everybody out, and I was the youngest in the, in the crew. And he just laughed and was like, you know, said the name Nipsey Hustle as a joke. I identified myself as a hustler since I was a young young kid, so I felt like it, it made sense, it had a little ring to it. What, what would I say is the best album, Victory Lap, my album. I'm gonna be political, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I would I would love to do a record with, I think like Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, one of them. I started making music when I was about 13. I started writing songs earlier than that, but recording them and listening back and hearing my voice when I was like 13, 14. I was inspired originally by Death Row. Everything Death Row. Snoop, Pac, Dre. Dog Pound, Warren G, everything death row. When I got into music from the East Coast and down South, I was really inspired by Outkast, Andre and Big Boy, um, Jay, Big, Nas, Juvenile, the whole Cash Money sound when they came. One of my favorite songs that people would probably be surprised by, I like this Goo Goo Dog song called Iris. I think that song crazy. Just the words and you know what I mean, what's being said on there. I heard it when I, I, I think it was in the City of Angels soundtrack a long time ago. And I was like, damn, this record crazy. I wasn't a big fan of rock, but just the words and what was being said and the sound of it. And I got into the Goo Goo Dolls after that, but that's one of my favorite records. I think people should listen to my music because the ingredients that I, I intend to put in the music is, you know, honesty. I, I, I intend to inspire people with my story. Um, motivate young people that grew up like myself or even not like myself just you know go through the human experience I try to I try to sprinkle little gems and jewels in the music that people could use in their own life